There are still far too many gay guys who think that gay men who aren't at least slightly feminine are suppressing things about themselves and might not even be trustworthy. That striving to be masculine contributes to heteronormativity and oppression. Also, that people like me have never experienced queer joy. Well, believe me, I've tried to experience this queer joy, or more accurately, the things that were... I don't know what the, the words for that were before, but they didn't call it queer joy. It was just this element of somehow finding joy in your LGBT-ness, right? But I tried finding that joy countless times. It's, it's, I don't look at it as any different than, than, than religious people say, oh, you'll, you'll feel this joy when, when, when you connect with Jesus, when, when you accept Jesus. And I'm just like, joy? How, how am I supposed to feel joy out of this? It's weird to me. I mean, there's the notion that, oh, you, you've, you've gotten past the oppression from a straight society. Okay, I guess you can feel joy from that. You can feel joy from having connections with other people. But is that queer joy? In the 90s especially, and I was involved with them later than that too. Uh, in the 90s especially, though, I was involved with the radical fairies. You know, with lots of opportunities for that sort of thing, for me to find the joy in that sort of thing. It didn't really help. And now the T essentially runs everything there now, because you, it's, that's just how that goes. Even though the Radical Fairies used to be about safe male spaces. You know, that's all out the window now. So, you know, we're not permitted to have anything exclusionary like that. But the truth is, I find extreme femininity annoying. It has nothing to do with trust. I just think it's annoying. I mean, I'll totally be friends with someone who is feminine, even someone who is extremely feminine. That's fine. This, this sort of thing doesn't stop me from seeing people's humanity. Having said that, extremely campy, queeny people are like fingernails on a chalkboard to me. It doesn't matter if it's a male or female exuding this behavior. It's an act that everyone's just supposed to show all this appreciation for. It's theatrics to extremes, like a drag queen performance. Affirm! 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 It can be mentally and emotionally exhausting just being around people who are like that all the time. They constantly create drama where there is none. You know what I'm talking about, where someone could be really, really dramatic over a pair of shoes or the color of their home screen on their phone. Someone can simply be feminine without any theatrics involved at all. Someone can have a lot of feminine qualities without being outright feminine. I think I fall into that category quite a bit. I may not outwardly act feminine, but I don't put impossible to meet standards of masculinity onto myself either. I instead put other impossible to meet standards onto myself. And I'm always trying to learn new ways of not judging myself so much for being human. I love the biker aesthetic. Throughout my 20s and mid-30s, I would continually hang out at biker bars, you know, on the sidelines. Just sitting there and admiring and enjoying the masculine energy. And learning a lot along the way. Yeah, sometimes some of them would go over the top to where it was kind of toxic, you know, and I'd take note of that. And on a rare occasion, fights would even break out. But usually it was reasonable. A lot of the reason why I was attracted so much to the biker aesthetic is because, well, I, I had no father or father figure growing up. No masculine influence at all. And I wanted something masculine for me to be able to aspire to be more like. You know, sometimes people at these places knew that I was there to learn. And they would help me here and there. And I really appreciate that. But apparently wanting to be more masculine was a bad choice on my part, according to queer activists. Apparently I was grasping at straws for a time that no longer exists. Apparently I destroyed a lot of my potential. Now maybe I am pining for a time that no longer exists, since most of those bars that I would go to no longer exist. But being annoyed at campy, queeny, theatrical people is not anti-queer. If I wanted bad things to happen to campy, queeny, theatrical people, that would be different. But I don't. I wish them the best. I wish no harm to them in any way. I'm just annoyed at the way they carry themselves. Anyway, thanks for watching.